Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video I'm going to show you how to spy on Facebook ads. So you can spy on your competitors' Facebook ads, you can spy on other businesses' Facebook ads, you can obviously take a look at their headlines, their imagery, their copy, all that sort of stuff can really help you get better results from Facebook, particularly if you're a little bit lost with what to include in your ad creative. Now, I'm on my Facebook page right now, and the reason why I'm here is because Facebook had an older version of this, basically, ability to spy on Facebook ads, but they've gotten rid of it. It's called Info and Ads, and was down here in the, in the the uh, on the left-hand side when you went onto someone's page. There's a little Info and Ads section. You could see the ads that a Facebook page was currently running. A few days ago, they got rid of that, and they've basically switched to a better tool that's called the Facebook Ads Library. Now, if you... I've, I've got it here prepared on Another tab. If you go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash library, you'll come to this page. I will um, include a link to that in the description of this video so you can come in and take a look at that. Now, the first thing is you need to be uh, logged into your Facebook account, otherwise, you know, that you're probably going to see something different, it won't work properly. The second thing is that you can filter by country. Now, this isn't the country that the Facebook that the business operates in. Uh, the business is based in, this is the country in which the ads are running. So obviously I've got United Kingdom, but if I wanted to see what ad someone was running in Croatia or something like that, I could select one of those options. Okay, next thing to do is enter in um, a Facebook page name. So now that some, someone wanted to take a look at the ads that I'm running, let's say they're a Facebook advertising agency, they want to see our approach, how we get clients, they could enter in my uh, page name in here, and they could come and take a look at the ads. Just before I run into that, there's some other interesting information. So this page, you can see when it was created, how many times the page name was changed. We just changed ours from my name, Ben Heath, to Lead Guru, my company name, back to Ben Heath. <laughs> Confusing situation, I know, but there you go. Uh, the primary country location um, for people who manage the page. Um, okay, and, and that's that. So you've got some good page information. If we were running political ads or anything like that, you'd also see that along this side. But... Um, but yeah, let's get into the ads. So we've only got six ads running right now. We've got a couple of top of funnel ads up here. We've got some content-based ads going on down here. But when you these specific ads are important. What's more important is the process. So when you come and have a look at someone's ads here, there's a, basically what I recommend is you break the ads down into the component parts and try and work out what works well and why. So here you've obviously got the copy. You've, well, okay, the first thing you want to assess is the ad format. Are your competitors running video ads, slideshow ads, carousel ads, static image ads? What are they using? Then go into some of the detail. If they are using image, what style of image? What sort of headline have they got running? What copy are they using? What call to action buttons, etc., etc. So come in and have a look at your competitors. Find out what works. Another thing to, to take note of is when the ad was first launched. So Facebook will tell you when launched. We were refreshed this just a few days ago, so it's all brand new ads. But if you scroll down and you see ads from months ago that are still running, there's a very good chance that those ads are performing very, very well. And those ones you probably want to wear a little bit he more heavily in terms of what you want to model from as opposed to newer ads that are basically less proven. So you can see from my page, there's not a huge amount going on. Let's say I wanted to check out uh, one of you know our competitors, not really a competitor, but one of the, the big names in the digital marketing, online marketing world would be Digital Marketer. These guys are the gold standard in the industry, fantastic uh, uh, company to model from. So we can take a look at, at their page and all the ads that they're running. You know, 73 is a lot more than, than our six. You can see, again, some page information over here. But you can scroll down and take a look at some of their fantastic ads that are running. So these ones are brand new. We don't really know whether they're good or not. Digital marketers probably don't know whether they're good or not. What I'd start with is go all the way down to the bottom and take a look at some of the oldest ads they've got from January 2019. So here we go. We've got a 10-point blog post audit. To take your blog post from there to Magnificent. I love their uh, their copy. This is a sort of top of funnel ad. Uh, so what you can do is you can go see ad details, and you can see a little bit more information on here. Um, you can obviously, if they've got a video, you can literally watch it or play it. Here's a, kind of like a little slideshow, which is quite nice. You can click Download. And this will take you to their landing page. If you actually click on the call to action button, obviously it's not always going to be download depending on what their call to action button is. Now this is really important because obviously whenever you're running some sort of online funnel, the ad is part of the uh, process, but also the landing page. What people do after they've interacted with the ad is also really important to making an ad a success or not. So you can come in here and you can take a look at their landing page. So when you're taking a look at your competitor's stuff, you can model not only from their ad, but also from their landing page and start to understand their sales process and basically funnel hack them if you want to, to help improve your own processes. So as I said, Info and Ads, if I go back to here now, it's a fantastic tool. 
I would start by taking a look at some of your competitors' older rounds. If they're still running, those are likely to be uh, very successful. Take a look at the, the format, the various elements, the headlines, the call to action buttons, whether they're using, what sort of copy they're using. Don't copy your competitors. That's probably unlikely to work and can get your competitors very angry with you. But um, you could feel free to model from them. Get the idea of what's working very well and, and use that with your own ads. We use it all the time as an agency. And uh, particularly if you're a bit stuck with what to do, things aren't really working, this is a great place to come. As I said, the link to this page will be in the video description. Another thing that you guys, uh, I want to tell you about quickly before you go is my five part Facebook ad template, which is something you can download right now for free. So this ad template includes some great performing ads. You're obviously, you're, you're obviously interested in ads if you're um, watching this video. What we've done in this template is we've included some of the best performing ads we've created for our clients in a number of different industries. So you can go through and you can model from those just as you can from here. You should find it really, really useful. Completely free to download. All you've got to do is click on the link in the video description below and uh, that'll take you to a page which where you'll be able to, uh, to grab it. So hopefully this video has been useful. If it has, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to that channel. Turn the bell on so that you get um, notifications whenever we release a new video. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.